Hi Aquarius, Rose Burnett from Mind Body Soul Balance, and this is your mid month reading for the around about the 15th to the 31st of May. Yeah, so it is a general reading, take from it what you will. If you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances. You get to ask up to about two questions on any area of your life, right? Uh, there's a special happening in May for just $50 uh, for a 30 minute reading with me. It's pre recorded, yeah, so uh, you get your own video link and uh, you can download it and watch it as many times as you like. Yeah, so uh, the link is on this video and in the description box below. So your reading uh, in terms of the mid-month one is uh, about giving you some specific guidance yeah, for the next two weeks. So first up, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. And uh, let's see what you need to know. Hmm. You've pulled Nematoma Sacred Space, so it's about connecting to your spirituality, doing some meditation, some quiet time, some contemplation. If you haven't already set up a sacred space, it's so easy to do, right? Some candles, crystals in your home. Um, you might find you might be a place in nature that you really connect with, or a sacred space that um, you can uh, talk to your angels and the divine. So yeah, it's about taking that quiet time out. Mm. You called Una um, or Unag. Uh, easy does it, yeah. So it's about allowing things to happen in divine timing. Um, there's no need to hurry or force things, yeah. Just take it easy in the next two weeks, Aquarius. Mm. And you've also pulled Cordelia, go outside. You've been inside too long. Um, the fact that your reading kicked off with sacred space, it just means you need to watch your energy levels in the next two weeks. Um, you need to be very gentle, compassionate and kind with yourself. Look after yourself. Put self-love first. Yeah, It's going to help you face anything you need to face and have that energy that you need in the next two weeks. Yeah. All right, what else does Aquarius need to know? Mm. You've pulled Sedina, infinite supply. Just know, stop worrying about your finances, right? If you've been worrying, just know that um, all of your needs, including your material needs, are going to be met for you today and your, all your tomorrows, yeah? Beautiful. So if you've been anxious, yeah, take that quiet time out to just quieten your mind and relax yeah allow things to flow is the message mm. the reason you're going to need that energy and that quiet time is Carly ending from beginning still going through transformation quite a few signs have been since uh since March um it's about letting about uh releasing the old to let in the new the message I'm getting is the endings and beginnings it can be in relationships but it can also be in your career Could also be in your home as well. If you hear any background noise, right? I'm just filming outside because the energy is just so beautiful out here. But I'm going to occasionally get a little bit of noise, yeah? All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Crystal Oracle deck. What is it that Aquarius needs to know? Mm. So you pull Black Obsidian, the shadow, it's actually sitting under sacred space. So when you do that quiet time, that meditation, you may have a little bit of battle between your like light and dark sides, right? You might have some stuff coming up for you, particularly with the endings and beginnings. It's about accepting those feelings. Don't push them down. If there's parts of yourself that you go, God, I'm not favourite of that. Um, often that comes up for us to heal it. Those feelings come up for us and give us that opportunity for, for growth and learning. Um, acceptance of self um, yeah when you do that work you come back whole so don't fear it at all don't fear it mm. I'm pretty sure I said self-love didn't I hello Kunzai time for some self-love Aquarius you've got so many cards here that indicate you need to take some time out for rest rejuvenation relaxation meditation contemplation put yourself first in the next couple of weeks that means Balancing and grounding yourself, getting in touch with nature, getting in touch with your spirituality, taking care of your emotions and your energy. Yeah. 
And if you find that people are putting lots of demands on your time, you're literally going to have to um, speak up and just say, hello, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> I need some time for me, quiet time for me. Mm. When you go outside, you're going to get um, expanded awareness. You've pulled out your right, which is sitting right underneath that. So if you've got any problems that you need to solve, right, you're going to get the answers outside, talking to the spirits, releasing your um, emotions and releasing stress and anxiety. When you do that, you will find the solutions that you're seeking. Mm. And uh, you've pulled Moonstone, which is cycles. It's actually sitting under infinite supplies so normally I would I would uh, pretend this in terms of your energy cycle so it's I think part of it is that is recognizing which cycle you're in yin or yang yeah I think you need to be in a yin cycle which is about receiving particularly the fact that sitting under infinite supply the feeling I get is that Aquarius you've been doing a lot of work and it's time to just uh, take your foot off the pedal and allow the universe to give back to you Right. Mm. Under Kali, endings and beginnings, you pull culpite rites of passage. It's all about transformation. It's all about um, coming into your own. Yeah, coming into your own. Quite a spiritual card. Uh, there's a lot of ancestral past life stuff tied up in this. Um, yeah, beautiful. It's kind of beautiful. All right going to pull you some specific guidance from the energy oracle deck all right what does Aquarius need to know hmm. this will want to come out in doubles and triples beautiful you've got the door to personal healing and happiness so it's sitting under sacred space so taking that time out to connect not only to your spirituality but to do some meditation contemplation when you accept the shadow sides of yourself the light and the dark um, that comes up for you you're going to come to this place of personal healing and happiness balance yeah. mm. all right got a woman holding your heart it's sitting under easy does it una allowing things to unfold naturally so if you've been looking for love and romance and you've been pushing all the buttons and trying really hard take your foot off the pedal just allow things to flow if you're meeting new people don't I'm going to say you've got to drop the control. The message coming up is you've got to take, drop the control. If you're, a, if you're a woman, allow the guy to lead. Allow him to make the dates. Don't like have to plan every aspect of it yourself, right? Um, don't be so focused, both men and women, on the outcome. Be present. Be present and just enjoy the moment. Take that time for self-love because when you do, you are going to be ready for new love, yeah, both. That applies to both male and female Aquarians, right? You will be ready. And when you do that work on yourself in terms of self-love and accepting the shadow sides of self as well, you're going to attract a much more stable and balanced love relationship into your life. Particularly if that's something you've uh, struggled with in the past. Mm. Okay, one of the reasons that you might need to go outside... <laughs> Balancing ground, balancing ground yourself is that you're feeling a little bit tied up, a little stuck, a little stuck, right? Because uh, sitting right above that is expanded awareness, so and uh, Cordelia above that, which is go outside. Yeah, you will find the answers you seek when you release your anxieties and your stress, and you take care of yourself. Yeah, and have that quiet time. I'm feeling all tied up. It's usually our emotions holding us back, our mental thoughts as well. Just know that you've got caring connections around you. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Open up, yeah. Open up to the new love. Be vulnerable. If you're in, already in a relationship, open up to your partner and express your feelings, particularly any anxiety. Um, let them prop you up for a little bit, right, emotionally with support. I'm going to pull you one more. Message coming through, right, just with that card there, is that some of you do so much in terms of uh, I'm going to be this really strong person, yeah, I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to say false mask on because false mask of being like really, really strong when in fact inside you're going, God, I just would like somebody to, 
like share what I'm going through right now. Just open up to the caring connections around you. Be emotionally vulnerable. Okay. Under endings and beginnings and uh, rites of passage, you've pulled um, storm warning. So this tells me that when you're going through this transformation, the people around you are not going to be quite so used to it. You could have some negative energy um, attaching to your energy. So just be mindful of that. Um, I'm going to pull you a clarifier on it. Generally, when you get endings and beginnings, there's always people in your circle that are going to arc up out of fear and doubt, yeah? And worry for your own safety and well-being. All right, what's the clarifier for Aquarius? Hmm, holding on to it. There you go. Yeah, okay. way in which to handle this is to practice the art of gratitude and appreciation when you're out and about, yeah. Particularly when you're doing your meditating, um, just being thankful for, I'm going to say the fact you've got the shadow side of yourself is being appreciative of who you are, um, the light and dark sides of yourself, but also be, be compassionate with people who are, are exhibiting lower en vibrational energies around you because um, you don't know what's coming up for them, right? But don't also let their fears hold you back. Yeah. <clears throat> The fact that I was like struggling to get that out, I was having a tickle in my throat, right? I'm going to say to you, you need to speak up when you need to speak up. Don't hold back. In some instances, you need to be assertive. You can be compassionate without being rude, right? But you need to speak from your throat chakra. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull your crowning energy from the Quinian Oracle. It must come straight out for you. Get the light off that. So beautiful. Bamboo moon. It's number one, by the way. I always think number one is kind of like often a very important message. All right. I'll show it to you one more time. Aquarius. So pretty. And what it says is, did you know there are no mistakes in the universe and all events, circumstances, situations and relationships are unfolding in perfection with the timing and intelligence of the divine plan? Any apparent delay is in your favour. If something is happening for you right now, then that is perfect too. Divine timing is perfection and it is safe to trust in this now. Oh my God, you got Uno, which was all about divine timing. It's got moonstone, moonstone cycles and rhythms. Um, you might be wondering if anything is going to come together for you if, or if it seems to be happening quickly now, if you're even ready for it and the answer is yes. Divine timing is always at play whether we are letting go or trying to force something. An intelligent power that is vaster than our comparatively limited vision is always in flow and we are part of that. We can find so much peace and joy when we realise this and learn to trust and relax in the unfolding of our divine destiny. Chinese bamboo helps us learn this wisdom of divine timing. For about five years of its early life, not much appears to be going on. And then as the small roots attempt to ground themselves when they become ready, those roots are exceptionally strong and the plant suddenly grows like wildfire. There is much more going on in preparation for powerful growth than what appears to be at the humble beginnings of the bamboo plant. So it can be with divine timing. There are periods where not much seems to be happening at all. And we can expect or feel that this may always be the case. Yet this inner preparation allows for swift development and growth when we are ready. When the time is perfect, our preparation is over, our growth can happen very quickly and we might be concerned that it's all too fast and we cannot keep up with it. But of course we shall keep up with it because the inner preparation has allowed us to develop a good foundation of spiritual strength. Just like the cycles of the moon that shift from the hidden light to full splendor of solar reflection, only to shift again, your unfoldment is just a matter of timing. You're being encouraged to trust in divine timing 
and know that all is well in your world. Rejoice, your dreams and divine destiny are manifesting now, whether it is obvious or not. And all will continue to unfold according to the highest good. Be at peace, beloved. You are not forgotten, nor are your gifts being over or underestimated. All is well in the divine plan unfolding of which you are part. All right, there's a healing exercise. Let's do it, huh? What it says is, imagine you are sitting in a lush green forest of bamboo, abundant, cool, and serene. Overhead, the moon rises, and you notice that it has grown full. Soft light, serenity, and peace abounds. You become aware of vast fields of bamboo, golden in the moonlight. The bamboo moves peacefully with the breeze. Feel the peace and recognition in your heart. You don't need to do anything other than feel it. You belong to nature. You shall flourish. Just feel it. Beautiful. All right, there's an affirmation. What it says is, Kun Yin, you surrender into the perfection of divine timing like the bamboo shoots preparing for fast growth and the beautiful moon growing full. Sometimes change is not so obvious and yet growth is happening. Please help me realize all is in accordance with perfect timing in my own life and all of my plans, projects and desires now. Fill my heart with your love and peace, beloved goddess. Let the wisdom of the bamboo moon penetrate my soul. I'm Manny Pedlington. Beautiful. All right, Aquarius, just make sure that you take that time out for self-love, self-care, quiet time, relaxation, rejuvenation, meditation, contemplation, yeah? All right. Now, don't forget, if you uh, want a personal reading with me, link is on this video and in the description box below. If you like this, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.